Look me in my face, I shave. Do I like that look? No. Then why do I do it? Let me explain. When I have a beard, which I do like, it hides my double chin. So when I shave my beard, I see my double chin. Which is a good thing. I expose myself to my weaknesses, such as eating crappy food. I do it. It's almost like it's creeping up on me. The day starts right, I keep that protein high, the carbs moderate, but sometimes late at night I eat that crappy food. But let's say I would not shave my beard, I wouldn't see my double chin. Which means I would keep going. Here's something I've realized. Having a beard and wearing hoodies can lead to avoiding your weight problems. I'm not a masochist, but I like to tell myself the cold hard truth. When you expose yourself to the truth, it absolutely can make you better. The more you hide from those problems and the more you avoid them, the less likely you are that you will do something about them. Now that being said, I'm not going on a diet right now, but I probably will maybe around March or June. Currently I'm weighing 110 kg. I'd like to get stronger. I want to increase my incline bench, my squats, which are shitty right now because of the knee problems. I want to increase my deadlifts. I want to increase every lift because that's what it's all about. I want to put the maximum amount of weight which is available to me right now, which is just 126 kg. So in the long run, I probably should get a better squat rack and an Olympic bar and Olympic plates. But right now, let's just max out those 126 kg, whatever exercise that that may be. So yes, I want to get stronger, but I will keep my cheating in check by just looking into the mirror and seeing myself. I've heard of people stripping naked and just putting on jeans and then they sit down in front of a mirror and they check out their belly fat. That's also a good way to not cheat on your diet. The truth might hurt for a little while, but a lie hurts forever. So don't lie on yourself. And with that, I'll leave you for today. I'll see you next time.